Hi everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a quick Divine Masculine Twin Flame read for you and I'm going to get right into it. It is February 11th, 2019. If you want Oracle card information or some more, I had a lot of channel downloads um, in my other read today from the Union read, so if you want to check that out, you can. Um, for this read, it was done at 2.30, took 2.31 today. Um, the Major Arcana from the Syrian Starseed deck were Transition, which is traditionally the Death card, and Abundance, which is traditionally the Empress card. That way. And the card after the read that I always pull was the Star card. There were two cups, five pentacles for the masculine, and two swords. There were um, no wands here, which is unusual. Um, the only court card was the Knight of Pentacles, but the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine, Nine of Cups were both present, which often for me can be people. The codes were all about love and relationship change for the masculine, and the number codes were 853, which is an odd number, but that came up, 9, 862, the number 16 of the tower, um, 2355, 999, nine, nine. so there were three nines in the read, 68, 89, and then the sequence 2, 3, or no, no, just uh, the 23, and 56. Um, there may be something about the energies around the 19th to the 20th coming up here. Um, there's definitely portal energy for the masculine coming up here. There's just 44 staying at zero point with um, maybe an announcement or rushing in with the truth. Someone could have a rare blood disease or just be a blue blood, right, rare blood, um, in transition to love and relationship change. So there may be some kind of announcement, a tower moment coming in here for the masculine, <coughs> whether it's them doing it or receiving it. Um, strong expansion of the empress or the abundance energy of rare collective transition to love. Also, the year 1985 was coming up. So think about what it, and I was, believe it was March. So whatever you were doing around March 2008, I mean 1985, whatever you were doing around March, February to March that year, think back what you were doing because there may be a reflection here which was very interesting when I thought back about that. Um, so, you know, anything significant? Did you move? Did you get married that year? Did you, you know, any new start? Something significant around February and March of 1985. Also, um, Uncle Albert came up here. So the song, I'm so, we're so sorry. I always thought it was, I'm so sorry. Uncle Albert, we're so sorry, Uncle Albert. But Uncle Albert, as well as um, Alberta, came up. So if, if either of those resonate with you, please comment below. And just for anything in general, you know, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And then, um, so hands across the water, hands across the sky came up here in the coding, but it comes up again in the read separately. And that had to do with generational beliefs, you know, talking to your uncle who really doesn't get, you know, wonder what they think of us as a generation. Also, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, Aix-les-Bains, a town in France came up. So it's A-I-X, Les-Bains. And it was an apartment that was coming up with free Wi-Fi and terrace. And also just that uh, the the word AB was coming up as first used circa 1771. <laughs> How do you like that one? And AB, it has lots of different meanings. It can be Alberta, it can be abdominal muscle, it can be, um, you know, AB blood. It also can be November of the traditional our year that we use in the, in the calendar or the fifth month of the Jewish calendar which I believe would be February, I'm not positive on that. It also can be airborne. The uh, bat er, Bachelor of Arts can also be written AB. Abort, airborne. Able, semen. <laughs> I just caught that. We're talking about like a sea man, okay? <laughs> um, from, away, off, abnormal, 
or different from the rest. They were all coming up. Okay, so we'll get right into the read. And as soon as, soon as I started the read, number 28 comes up, um, which is the Two of Wands or the Twin Flames, okay? It's also the choice of path. So there's grief in handling, grief and healing after fighting over or about a message after the fighting is over about a message of love at 28 which is the twins or can be addressed it's, that's actually my address so it's, it's funny that it comes up all the time um but walked away or went within and is now coming out about grieving there's exposure about new love self-love or a proclamation of independence from family or that a family is just feeling very loved by a message of love or a child. Or a child won an award and the family is very proud. An old man can identify, so there's that generational gap, okay? Someone's father is thinking, oh, the old man will get that, you know, because he knows about, you know, winning and losing competition, all that kind of stuff. White legs on the beach and black shoes crossing that bridge when we get to it. Love, hands across the water, he heads across the sky. Children happy and positive again, resting for new life in justice, but seeing the positive and learning from it anyway. Money may not match, so there may be two people coming together, and maybe the masculine feels um, it's imbalanced, whether he has more money or she has more money. There's something about that comparison. So they may not, you know, it may be a pride thing or an arrogance thing, depending on which way it is, okay? Money may not match, may be unfair, or in a divorce, someone may have gotten a lot more than the other. One got much more than the other, but they, but that other person didn't get as much money, may have gotten a house or some expensive curtains or something like that, okay? And also, the, uh, what was coming up, the manicured hedges or, or property in Bermuda, okay? So just... Whatever some kind of settlement was made, um, someone feels it's unfair, maybe both parties feel it's unfair, whatever, you get the gist. So religious factors comes up as the underlying energy. It doesn't have to be religion. It can be any differences, whether it's age, um, social status, your cultural background, no matter what the difference is, your height. I mean, it just whatever people see as people who don't usually go together, that's what's going to be in your twin relationship. The um, card underneath religious factors was flirt. Okay, so the, that's about extending your lighthearted energy. Okay? The King of Swords is doing some strange testing to his right knee or somebody else's right knee. The Queen of Cups is comforting. Um, can, he can still have his dreams. Talking to his children about what life means and saying goodbye to them or their mother. Little Lizard may be spying for a mother with red boots. The kindness extended to another. So someone, um, an ex, or if you're just splitting up or whatever, um, that the mother may be telling the children to spy on daddy when he goes sees that other woman or whatever, that kind of thing. So teaching and learning comes up as well as individuality, as underlying energies. Walking away from privilege and negativity, abusive um, queen of cups. So because some verbal abuse was definitely coming up here. Queen of cups reversed and empress reversed. Now healing from verbal abuse. And I was definitely getting two different Empress energies in this read, this one being the negative, but there's also another Empress energy that comes up very positive. Um, abusive woman left with her expensive curtains and, and her ring, <laughs> potentially. But she's also coming up as the ring leader, a possible mother-daughter team. Okay, so it could be a karmic and their mother, or it could be the masculine sister and his mother. Okay. Um, healing from loss with kids, exposing all about love, religion, and the empress, and not the nice one. <laughs> Recently, balancing suffering cycles of synchronicities of the sovereign one on journey with burdens. The foundation has to do with the workplace, freedom, inspired by the Queen of Cups finding peace in her emotions. Um, centrally, um, there could be a high priestess coming up with no affection who's moving or unstable and suffering or not a high priest and it's just that for the masculine it's secret that he's not having any affection or that he's moving and feeling unstable one or the other could just be moving and not unstable but there's definitely suffering still going on here awakened at the workplace when giving to others 
now a heavy burden in order to get attention, the masculine learning a big lesson. The challenge being transition, where the masculine's literally going through a portal today, going through portal without skipping a beat, or the twin synchronicities. The king of swords reversed waves at new love, but he's actually hiding because Leo, or his own ego, who's maybe right there and maybe out of view, is way out of control, drained or really sick mentally or physically, trying to force the King of Swords reverse his hand and make him break up with the Divine Feminine in front of her, which was bringing back something that happened, um, you know, with like my first love, you know. So there's definitely some kind of repeat of whatever happened way long ago. So 1985 came up, but then this would be um, 1979 as well. So whatever, so look back to those years, 19, what did I say, 1985 and then 1979. You may not have been born at those times, but you, if you have, you might want to check out those years because there may be something similar coming up. It was just 1111. Okay, so now the Knight of Pentacles is proposing a message of knowing. The wounded warrior is grieving someone through work, or his own, or he's grieving at work, and separation hung up on a new life with an angel. Someone may be proposing a new life, or possibly a bride, to avoid a disaster with family healing, or in the aftermath, offering a new life, at the end of a family and healing. The world complete without expressing feelings about a new life. Someone tossed out, standing up for themselves to others when also choosing a path. At night, it may be a nightmare of feelings for the masculine, um, frustrations about the angel and union. Keeping quiet about, or having kept her quiet about rejection, or fear his own fear of rejection, the angel choosing her path, or his path, or a new path, with the Queen of Swords, who seems happy in her transformation, calming his inner beast, offering love, new life to stand in our truth, in a disconnect of the King of Pentacles reversed and the King of Cups reversed, the battle has ended, the wounded warrior gave up, not wanting to hurt any others. Okay, so there's definitely a King of Pentacles and King of Cups here coming up reversed, but the King of Swords is also in this situation, so it may be the masculine breaking up with um, some partners, if he's in a partnership, or it could be family members, okay? He is seeing himself as abundant, as the empress with an open heart. Worst of the family ending is over for the empress. The king of wands is looking back or going back to see if the queen of pentacles reverse will run away from him this time or, sh or drop her burdens and allow him, okay? So it may have been the Empress um, just in, in a breakup was really wounded at the beginning of the read and here it's coming to the point where the, he's able to get the Empress right side up or his karmic or his mother, whoever is in this situation, in order for him to be able to then be released and go do what he wants to do. Around him is the Sovereign, wise and pure, frustrated yet satisfied and happy on their own, laying down swords of aggression in order to end pain, to clear the masculine is to clear blocks of surrender. The surrender has a negative connotation for the masculine in history. It means you lose the war, right? So he needs to clear the blocks about that word and surrender to let go, to allow the universe to guide your actions. To surrender about gossip with the Queen of Wands, things that you said negative about your twin to your karmic, or coming together casually or worried about that after the breakup and having to deal with them at family parties where she's there and getting over the loss at family affairs with Leo and or his own ego. So love comes up here, relationship change, but even more so for the masculine is effort, to, that love is worth the effort. There's a major connection and getting wish and transformation and happiness with the queen of swords to an angel, even after controlling her and rejecting, she's still open to him, okay? So six rays of of shine they're coming in let the sunshine came in from the last read let the sunshine okay on a break after working too much has caused a block or to repair or buy a new car so 
this is why the uh, masculine was overworking either for a reason or it was causing a block for him and now he's no longer doing that. The stars are out, dreams come true, holding on loosely to deception and jealousy, or the king of wands is getting all the attention or depression, or someone may be bipolar here, destined to lose hope or feel depressed. So they give to others to stay balanced in a high vibration, okay? So that's coming up for some of the masculines, knowing that they have uh, an issue when, they, when they're left to their own devices, get very depressed, which can be for the, for the feminine as well. And so they overwork in order to keep their vibration high because that's always a place where they can give to others and feel good about themselves. So this is the read. So I just wanted to get that one out quickly. Um, you know what to do. Be good to yourself. Get your rest, drink your water, and eat well, and just be happy. Be happy. Find your happiness. And rise and be loved. Bye, guys.